One more lesson we learned from COVID is how to navigate do-it-yourself testing. Yeah, new store shelves, new to store shelves is an FDA approved test that can tell women whether or not they're in the stages of menopause. Does it work and is there a market for it? Wait News Health and medical reporter Amy Osher went looking for answers. About five years ago, something lit a fire under Maryland Santiago. I carry all kinds of little fans from the hand handhelds to the little electronic ones that you connect to your phone. It took her a hot minute to realize she was transitioning into menopause. In five minutes, I will be hot, but then I will be cold again. I will be hot, I'll be cold. It's a cycle middle-aged women can relate to. That's not the only change associated with the change of life. The biggest problem that I, that I have experienced with the, with the coming of my menopause is that I have become a different person. Mood swings, hot flashes, thinning hair, just a few of the symptoms of hormonal changes. The process takes years. Many women aren't sure when it starts and when it will end. Now the answer is within their grasp. Women have been taking at-home pregnancy tests for years. Now they have the same opportunity to find out if they're going through menopause without leaving their home. This test may hold the key. For under $30, it promises to clear the confusion. Our brain makes a hormone called FSH that tells the ovary to work. OBGYN Cherie Morris says the test measures a woman's follicle stimulating hormone over a period of days. As the ovary's egg production declines, the body's answer is to surge this hormone. If you're becoming menopausal and your ovary is not responding, then that's when that FSH level won't go down, it will stay up. Science supports using the hormone to gauge the stage of menopause. It's especially helpful for women in early stages who've had endometrial ablation or hysterectomy, which impact periods. So in those patient populations, that would be helpful because you're like, oh, is this, is this menopause or is this something else? Marilyn is anxiously awaiting the end of menopause. I think I'm still rolling with it and it is driving me crazy. Well, I think for that exact reason, Amy, that will take off because people are very used to now being able to do things at home. Given the convenience, chances are a lot of women will put their symptoms to the test. Amy Osher, Wink News. Now, the majority of women will experience it unwanted symptoms during the menopause transi transition. A whopping 80% have hot flashes that can be debilitating. Dr. Morris says knowing your status is a good start, but you should follow up with a doctor who can help you relieve those side effects.